Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, of course, we're gonna talk about Bitcoin, but we are going to do something a little bit different. This is a simplified chart where we have a rising wedge. This one is slightly different from the other one I have because this one takes as support the most extreme point of support and we tie this back to the beginning of this uptrend. And we are right now just sitting at support. Also check this out, because last time we got a correction similar to this one, we only spent one candle below the 50 moving average. This one half of it is still above it, so we can't count this one, but this green candle is completely below the 50 moving average. We're right now getting the second weekly candle below the 50 moving average. It is only Wednesday so far, so there's still a few days left before this candle closes. Hopefully we can get back above the 50 moving average or at least hold the purple support line. Also, if we just look at the daily chart with the naked eye, we can see that we're getting pretty close to that point where we have to challenge the 20 moving average. Here, we went above it and we got rejected by the 200 moving average. Then what follows is we have sort of a small double bottom pattern and then a retest of that 20 moving average. We get rejection and more rejection until eventually we broke it and we started this new uptrend. So visually it looks like if we are gonna get anything close to this type of consolidation we had back here, we should be seeing a bullish breakout sooner than later. But let's go back to the weekly because this is actually very interesting. This indicator down here is the MACD. This pretty much tracks a trend, right? Generally, as we have the screen bars up here and the blue line above, the orange line, we do have an uptrend. Then we get the MACD cross and we start to see a downtrend. So you're probably starting to realize where I'm going with this because what follows after a downtrend is an uptrend. As you guys can see, when the downtrend gets weaker, these bars begin to turn white. They also get smaller, which we might be heading into that direction over here. We could still get some larger bars, but from my own experience, I've been looking at the MACD for two years now. This looks really good for a reversal because usually once we start to see green, it's too late. The reversal has already happened. So that's why this MACD indicator is definitely making me feel bullish in the immediate short term. And technically, I have to remain bullish. I'm not looking for excuses to be bullish, but this is what I'm seeing on the chart. You know, I'm not easily persuaded by news articles or Mr. Then this is the old pattern. This is a different chart. I'm still using this pattern, but here on the MACD, what we can see is that out of this yellow falling wedge, we've had a lot of consolidation in the MACD. This has lasted quite a bit. And even after we got some of a green wave on the MACD, that did not do much to the price. What I get out of this is that this downtrend is definitely a bit overextended. And check this out. These are the three falling wedges we've had so far. We had this one in the first correction. This one was not so steep as this one. Then we had this second falling wedge right at support. This one was a little bit smaller. And this one is the biggest one yet. This has been a long time of consolidation. From the top to now, we have about 90 bars. So that is pretty much three months of consolidation. Definitely something that can crush hopes and dreams. But you guys have to remain rational at all times. You cannot let your feelings take over rationale because does it feel bearish? Absolutely, who wouldn't say so? But the technicals, and the fundamentals are saying otherwise. So this is definitely a cycle, guys. This is a cycle of extreme euphoria and extreme fear. We're definitely right now sitting at a period of extreme fear. The Bitcoin dominance on the daily getting a little bit of a bounce, still looking like it wants to break down. I sure hope it does. But this is also very interesting. 
when we take a look on the Bitcoin dominance, the weekly time frame, we have once again the MACD on a green wave. What comes after green waves? Red waves. I would love to see the Bitcoin dominance begin to break down. I would like to see this turn into a red wave. And I would also like for the Bitcoin dominance to at least get rejected at this downtrending resistance line. Maybe something like this back here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Otherwise, how do you want Bitcoin to go up, man? You gotta hit the thumbs up. And consider subscribing to the channel because I do a daily Bitcoin update and I also talk about plenty of different altcoins. I'll see you guys in the next video.